Very exciting, Cam. Thank you for that. Now, the Northwest Valley is exploding. Tens of thousands of new homes are being built there, and they're following the jobs created by a brand new booming technology corridor being established in North Phoenix and North Peoria. And let's look at it. No gentle way to put this. That's a lot of new toilets, a lot of sinks, a lot of new sewage. The city of Peoria is working to stay ahead of all of it with a brand new expansion of their Beardsley water treatment facility. And how they turn this water from raw sewage to something you can use to water a park and more is an interesting process. Let's check it out. And you say this is probably the, the stinkiest building? Yeah, this will be the stinkiest. All right. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. So what is this we're smelling? What we're smelling is uh, a hydrogen sulfide. So it's essentially the, uh, the, what you would normally see in any wastewater system. But here, when it first comes into the plant, you're gonna get that strong smell. And what's this? That's the, uh, essentially some of the stuff that's being screened off with the, with the uh, bar screens here. That got like flushed down? Yeah, stuff that goes down your toilet, your toilet paper, you know, other things like debris, uh, leaves, sticks, some of the stuff that comes in. It, it, we mentioned earlier, screening out some of that larger material. And these yep. dumpsters go to the landfill then? Or? Those go to the landfill, that's correct. That's correct. Woo! Stinky. And now what's this? Yeah, this is gonna remove a lot of the finer material. So coffee grounds, some of those types of things, grit, sand, some of the stuff that comes through. These blowers, and they look huge, push air into the water? That's correct, into so the basins, yes, into the basins. Purpose? For essentially allowing the, bi the microbiology to do their thing, to remove the organic matter from the wastewater. They, they need oxygen. So you're actually using small organisms to do some of this work? That's correct. What do they do? Yes. They, they essentially eat the, the, uh, the, they eat the organic matter. So they thrive on that. That's how they, that's how they eat. So it's like feeding a bunch of teenagers pizza. This is a brand new piece of equipment here at this plant. This clarifier is 70 feet wide and 30 feet deep. It holds about a half million gallons of water. In all, this plant can treat about 4 million gallons of water every day. That's about 400 swimming pools every single day. So this was actually wow. a huge structure. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look mu like much above grade, but when this thing was being built, it was a massive excavation, um, concrete, rebar. It's just a really, it's a huge structure. It's yeah. almost done, right? Yeah, so that's the water out of the clarifier. It comes through there, it flows over the top, and then goes through these filters. And then it comes out into a channel over there for the last part of the treatment process. What can you use this water for? So you can use this, this water to, um, you can use it to water golf courses, to water parks. Um, you can use it for irrig um, just different irrigation uh, applications, um, some in industrial purposes. So like if you had an industrial user that, that came in, they can take this water, run it through a cleaning process, and then they can use it in an industrial process. But this is not drinking water. This is not drinking water. No, it's right. a, a plus quality reclaimed water. So after all that scrubbing, much of the reclaimed water will end up here. This is Paloma Park up in Peoria, and you can see there's a lot of desert around it. But in just a few years, that will be surrounded by brand new homes and development. So in the future, very near future, when residents flush, that water will eventually wake its way to the park, to water ball fields, fill in a fishing lake, and a whole lot more. Coming up.